Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever in the world you're watching from, hello and welcome to the Longines World Racing Awards, presented by Longines and the International Federation of Horse Racing Authorities. My name is Francesca Kamani, and over the next half an hour or so, we'll be looking back at the best in horse racing from the past year. We're here at the National Horse Racing Museum in Newmarket as we celebrate the best of the best in 2020. And we want you to have your say. Either leave your comments in the feed below or use the hashtag Longines World Racing Awards. Now, despite the challenges we've all faced over the last year, racing was able to showcase its ability to continue in these times. And it was with great excitement watching from home that we witnessed some incredible moments in the sport. We got dressed up at home, cheered on from our living rooms. Racing brought us together and proved that there were still many reasons to celebrate. Let's look back at the highlights of 2020. <laughs> Obviously it's going to be very strange, there's not going to be much of an atmosphere, but I'd rather do that than not have any race at all. It's Vatage, two or three legs clear, it's going to be third time lucky for him. She dares the devil, swim skydiver, she dares the devil! I'm a guy in a blaze of glory, good on you girl! And Goya, a fantastic performance from the front. Goyeth wins the Coronation Cup, and Tarnawa the Philly has won the turf! Authentic has won the Kentucky Derby! It's a fast, 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 it's a fast
Well, Francesca, it goes without saying that in Abel, she's uh, the best host and uh, not the best host, probably the, the host that I love most in my life. Uh, she's captured people's imagination around the world. Uh, we tried to win three arcs, but we couldn't make it. But uh, she managed to win three King Georges, what uh, has, been, has, been a, has been a record. So uh, now she's retired, gone to stud, gone to the breeding sheds. Uh, I do miss her a lot, but I think she gave racing and the public so much joy, and uh, you know she she really helped me to win this uh, Longines World's Best Jockey. It's been great chatting. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Francesca. Thank you, everyone. Thanks again to Frankie Dettori, and congratulations to him on being crowned Longines World's Best Jockey for a fourth time. That is some achievement. It's time now to move on to our next award, Longines World's Best Horse Race of 2020. The award recognizes the highest rated Group 1 international race as established by a panel of international handicappers. The ratings of the first four home uses the basis of the assessment. Now, before we reveal our winner, let's take a look back on some of the top races of 2020 in contention. We could be set up for an unbelievable horse race here. This magnificent mare, a mare in a million, a mare in ten million, one of the great champions of the sport, and for an able, it's King George the Third. But Gale has not seen another rival, and he's going to see them all off here in the jump off. He's relentless. Here comes Tarnava, storming down the center of the course to take the lead, and Tarnava, the filly, has won the turf. Racing towards the final furling and a half. Roll up, roll up. It's magic over the inside. Who's trying to exact revenge on Gayat? She's starting to short the stride. She's in front. Good on you, girl. Sayonara in the last race. How did I win? And Adayev, who floats across soft ground. Adayev coming away to win the champion stakes. And I'm delighted to reveal that the winner of the Longines World's Best Horse Race of 2020 is the Judlon International Stakes at York in the UK. Chief Executive of York Racecourse, William Darby, joins me now. Firstly, congratulations, William. And what does it mean to York Racecourse to have the Jumbo International named as the 2020 Longines World Best Horse Race? Oh, it's just a huge honour and a thrill. It's what we're all about at York Racecourse in terms of trying to attract the very best horses and jockeys to race on the Naismar and to be named number one against all the wonderful races around the global sport of horse racing. We're just thrilled. We're hugely appreciative. And how pleased were you to see such talented horses filling the first four spots in last year's event? Gaiath, Magical, Lord North and Kamiko at some lineup. Oh, to have those Group 1 performing horses turn up for our flagship race, the Jumminton's National, was just a thrill and an honour. To then see the race unfold with all the stories and subplots within it was a thrill for all sports fans or racing fans to witness. And what does it mean to have your signature race honoured internationally by Longines and the IFHA? Well, we're incredibly grateful for Longines and the IFHA for compiling these ratings, ranking every race around the world based on the first four horses home. To come top of that pile is a huge honor and a thrill, and we're delighted and really grateful for their support and that of all the connections in the race and Judmont Farms. Without Hume, we wouldn't be able to stage such a magnificent race for everyone to enjoy. Congratulations to you, William, and to the whole team at York Racecourse, and many thanks for joining us this afternoon. The 2020 edition of the Dermont International States at York is one that will long live in the memory. What a renewal it was. Let's relive it now through the unique prism of the man on board that day, Gaia Jockey, William Buick. So we jumped um, from the gate in the Dermont International here, and he Gayath took the lead, as expected, and I had the horse who I thought might have been a pacemaker on my outside early, but 
um, you know, they, they, they didn't want to push forward, so we were in the lead. And after about a hundred yards, maybe maybe a furlong, I was happy with the rhythm that Gayath, Gayath was in. Um, you know, I knew then that we were we were in business. Um, I stayed straight from my stall. Um, I didn't go onto the rail. He's a horse that, you know, any little movement he he he, he would he would react to it. So I just stayed off the rail. Um, and there's a jeep. The camera the, the camera is a jeep racing. Uh, close to the rail, so I, I didn't want to encourage um, Gayath any more than what I needed to, um, because he doesn't need any encouragement to race. Um, you know, he would race against the rail if, if, if he needed to. So I stayed off the rail and I walked the track beforehand, and where I was in the straight is exactly where I wanted to be. It was sort of five or six off the inside rail, five or six fourth bit off the inside rail. Um, and again, he's, he's in a beautiful rhythm. Um, I was happy with the fractions he was setting. Um, they were very similar to the, to the Eclipse. Um, and he felt, he felt amazing. When we turn into the straight, we're now approaching the three. We've gone past the four, approaching the three. We've gone past the three now. And I'm just increasing, increasing. And he's responding very well. I can actually hear the horses behind. Um, I, can, I can hear the whips cracking, so I know I've got them in trouble, um, and at the two, I'm asking more questions, and I just gave him a bit of encouragement here, and his response was was really amazing. Um, you know, his response this time, this day, was actually um, better than than it has been in the past. He he really dropped down a gear and, and quickened, and look, he's won by three lengths. It was a it, it, it was an amazing performance, um, and you know. He set his usual good fractions early, um, but to be able to show the, the final speed at the end of the race to really finish off the challenges um, was very worthy of a, of, of, of a world-class performance. Clearly a well-deserved winner, but let's take a look at the rest of the top 10 races from around the world. Now it's time for the four-legged stars of the show, the horses. As we've already seen, 2020 provided an abundance of highlights and the rankings to determine Longines World's best racehorse of 2020 were as tight as ever. There were seven horses from all around the globe tied in third place in this year's World's Best Horse rankings on an official mark of 125, as decided by the IFHA's official handicappers from all over the world. Let's take a look at all seven of the third place horses. Six legs, eight legs, it's gonna be 10 legs. He's gonna absolutely sweep them. The best player in the world, Stradivarius. Person King qui est devant, de mieux en mieux, qui vient en deuxième position. Person King qui va remporter ce prix du Moulin de Lanchelon avec Pierre Charles Boudot. Here he comes, the Saint Legend storms to the front and kicked away. A free way go in the St James's Palace, and Palace Pier is getting up in the last few strides. Bivouac with a powerful display. Oh, what a spectacular win! A day of coming away to win the champion stakes. Numeric is stirred, but it is. That leaves two horses at the top of the Longines World Best Racehorse rankings of 2020. And the second horse needs little introduction. His impressive victories in the Kentucky Derby and the Longines Breeders' Cup Classic secured his place in the history books. And he took over 5,000 owners from all over the world on a ride they will never forget. So the second highest rated horse of 2020, the highest rated dirt horse, and the highest rated three-year-old is Authentic. Congratulations to all the many connections of Authentic. It really has been a remarkable year. 
Let's take a look at what makes him such a special racehorse. For centuries, breeders have talked about speed, stamina, and heart. And I think Authentic has all of those things in abundance. Authentic and John Velasquez have the lead as they come down to the 16th ball. Tis the law still trying to get him. Authentic, tis the law. Authentic has won the Kentucky Derby. Winning one of the more unusual Kentucky Derbies in history, I think Bob Baffert said it best. Uh, it felt nothing like the Derby all day long until the gates opened and then it felt very much like every other derby that I've been to. It was really special actually because this was unusual, right? For, for Authentic to have over 5,000 owners to basically have really democratized ownership in the way that was done here. Actually, it's probably perfect that it took place in such a kind of unique environment because what's so interesting about Authentic is not only do we have owners in all 50 states, we have owners in over 20 countries. And without having that crowd in there and all the, you know, hoopla and all that stuff, I think it really helped our horse win and also by being postponed gave us a little more time to mature. Authentic digs in, improbable to the outside second. Tis the law, trying to make a run down the center of the track, but it's authentic in front. He won the Derby, he won the Breeders' Cup Classic. He's authentic indeed. If you want to really be considered the undisputed heavyweight champ of the world, Winning the Derby is great, but winning the Classic is what you've got to do, having all of the best in the world. By beating his elders in the Classic, obviously proved at that distance he could carry the speed and brilliance that, that he had, uh, had one of the fastest uh, Breeders' Cup Classic times, and just proved, uh, hopefully, uh, what kind of stallion he can turn out to be, too. You have a lot of quick horses, you have a lot of you know, amazing athletes, and for his ability to be able to, to control that speed, to get the distance, you know, it was kind of the perfect balance. Having Authentic recognized by the IFHA and Lawn Jeans as the top three-year-old in the world is just a great, great honor. To have this horse recognized in the context of best in the world is just very special and a great honor to all of us here at Spendthrift. We're lucky enough to be joined by someone who knows this horse better than anyone, trainer Bob Baffert, who's currently in California. Hi, Bob, thanks so much for joining us. Now tell me, what does it mean to you to have the second highest rated horse in the world, the world's best dirt horse, and the highest rated three-year-old of 2020? Well, I mean, it's a it, it's an honor, and I actually I I keep tabs on all of Long Jeans on the horse of the world because, you know, I've been fortunate to win a few times, and I, I used to love looking forward to making that trip to London, even though it was freezing, but just to get out of here. But um, you know, Authentic was just getting better and better and better, and um, you know, and to put him up there with all those good horses that are on that list, I mean. Uh, you know, it takes a really good horse to, to win the Derby and the Breeders' Cup Classic, as, you know, like Farrell did it. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's just an honor to, to be involved in this. And, to, you know, racing is all about bragging rights. And, uh, you know, to have the horse that good, that, that's what it's all about. What was Authentic like to be around and to train? Did he have any quirks at home or on the track? And he was a little quirky at, at, at the beginning. He was still green. He was just getting better and better. And, uh, one thing about the Breeders' Cup in the fall, you know, the three-year-olds, they catch up with the older horses. And uh, for him to do what he did was just pretty, pretty impressive. And I think that's where he probably earned his ranking. What attributes made Authentic so successful on the track? He had a lot of speed and he could carry it a mile and a quarter and, um, and effortlessly. And I think that's what makes the great dirt horses here in America is being able to, to carry that speed and, and go uh, so fast and just keep it going. It's been great chatting to you, Bob. Thank you so much for joining us and well done again with Authentic. Time now for the final and most prestigious award of the afternoon. It is the 2020 Longines World's Best Racehorse. This horse started the year with an impressive victory in the Dubai Millennium Stakes at Maidan in Dubai. And then it was here at Newmarket that he broke the track record in the specially rearranged Group 1 Coronation Cup. Then his crushing victory over Enable 
in the Corolla Clips showcased his ability to dominate a race from the front. And those front running tactics were again on display at York in August in the Judmont International Stakes, where he defeated three Group 1 winners again from the front. So without further ado, it is my time to announce the Longines 2020 World's Best Racehorse, Gaia. Congratulations to everybody involved with Gaia. It was a stunning year for the Godolphin flag bearer who now prepares for a new life at stud. Let's hear from those who know him best. In some ways, he was the perfect racehorse. He had so many positive attributes. Gaiath is keeping up the gallop. Anthony Van Dyke still with four lengths to find as they race now with 100 left to go. And Gaiath, a fantastic performance from the front. Gaiath wins the Coronation Cup. He was the perfect racehorse of 2020. He yeah, campaigned internationally. He was at that age just to have hit his peak form. That is the kind of brand ambassador that Godolphin is famous for down the years. To be honest with you, I don't think much phased him last year. He was the complete package. He was the finished article. I think we could have thrown anything at him. I don't think he would have minded, you know, because I think as, as a world champion, you have to have everything. You have to tick every box. You have to deal with different situations. And he did that. His high cruising speed and the ability to find added acceleration at the end of his race has really set him apart. There's a half a to go. Gayat has the rail to help. He still leads by a length and a half. He named is running out of time. And it's Gayat who's going to take the coral eclipse. Gayat has won the eclipse. Beating an Abel in the clip, that was you know, a very rewarding and it really stamped him as being a top class horse. And when you win a race like that, you win it fair and square. There's no excuses. You've got to get out there and got to do it in some ways the hard way. I think on pure ability or on raw ability and flair, Gaia is, is the best middle distance horse I have ever ridden. Gaia passes the furlong marker, still too clear. Magical battling as ever in second place, but Gaia has not seen another rival and he's going to see them all off here in the job on. He's relentless. Gaia completes a great Group 1 hat trick. You know, I think on his day, like in the John 1 International, I don't think there is a horse that could have beaten him. I think his um, performances, they spoke for themselves. They were amazing. It's a great recognition for the horse and for Godolphin to have a brand like Longines behind awards like this to have an external body that's so well respected to say this is the best racehorse of 2020. I'm delighted to say that Gaia's trainer now joins us from his base at Moulton Paddocks in Newmarket. Hi Charlie, thanks so much for joining us and congratulations. What does it mean to you to have trained the Longines 2020 world's best racehorse? So it's a great privilege to be involved with a horse like Gaia. Um, Right from the start, he's been uh, you know, one of our horses that we've been very uh, fond of. Um, and to, to train a horse like this for his highness Sheikh Mohammed and, and, and Godolphin uh, is a great honour. He was clearly always talented, Charlie, but what do you think it was about the 2020 season, now he was a mature five-year-old, that enabled him to achieve the success he did? Gaff's uh, 2020 season was uh, a year that we always felt that uh, he was the finished article. Um, starting his um, 2020 off there at, at uh, Maidan in the Dubai Millennium, um, you know we saw uh, you know a devastating, devastating performance there. Um, coming into Europe, um, he was just that. Well, as I say, that finished article mentally uh, and physically, uh, he was the, the package to, to go to war with. Which of Gaia's victories in 2020 was the most satisfying for you and why? The most um, pleasing uh, victory um, of Gaia in 2020 was the Jumpmont International. Um, I felt that it just sort of confirmed what we'd seen in the, uh, in the Eclipse where he beat Enable. Um, you know, people would have just said maybe, you know, it was just that luck of the run round there at Sandown. But, um, like I say, he went and just confirmed it all uh, in the Jumpmont International. Many congratulations again, Charlie. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, that's it for this year's Longines World Racing Awards. In such unprecedented times, I think racing can be proud for putting on a show and putting a smile on people's faces. Thank you so much to all the owners, the trainers, the jockeys, the stable staff, the racecourse officials, 
and most importantly, the fans for continuing to make racing a success through such challenging times. On behalf of Longines and the IFHA, we'd like to thank you for celebrating with us the world's best racehorses, best horse race and best jockey of 2020. And don't forget to follow our socials, IFHA, Longines Equestrian and World Horse Racing for extended versions of today's features. In the meantime, we hope there's much to look forward to in 2021.